there guys June hello Moonlight Butterfly Miku back again and I'm back with another Moonlight Butterfly Miku discusses so last time I talked about being on time and how I hate being made to wait and things like that so today I'll be talking about favorite foods yeah I'm gonna go on a little lighter term here and talk about foods we just love to eat I mean the type of food that like because everybody has foods that they like and they dislike of course but we're talking about favorites today so start with my favorite foods my number one favorite food of course y'all already know is pizza I have loved pizza ever since I was a little girl I remember the first time I had pizza when I was about four and we moved we first moved over here to um, Crown Heights it's, because um, I used to live in an apartment building. If you live in Brooklyn, you may know Ebbets Fields. That's where I used to live previously. So when we moved over here, um, it, I was four years old. And that there was a pizza place, which sadly now has closed. But there was a pizza place there. And I remember when we first went there and I tasted the pizza and I was hooked. And I've been going there ever since to this day now until it closed. So I, it really disappointed me. But ever since then, I have loved pizza. I will always love pizza. And when I eat my pizza, I fold it New York style. That's how I do it. Love me some pepperoni. I can eat just cheese, but I love me some pepperoni. And maybe some sausage. But I have to put... Um, I used to put garlic, but not too much anymore. Um, I like Parmesan cheese and hot sauce, my favorite, on top of my pizza. So yeah, that's my first favorite food. My second favorite food is anything pasta. I'm telling you right now, I can sit and eat an entire big ass plate of spaghetti, no problem. I, I, it is something about pasta that I just love and it doesn't have to be spaghetti it can be linguine lasagna capellini macaroni any pasta i don't care what pasta it is as long as you slap some sauce on that oh i'm gonna eat the whole thing like no joke i just need a plate of pasta some tomato sauce some parmesan and some hot sauce and it's a done deal. That whole plate's going to be gone. And if I don't eat the entire plate in one sitting, I will save it and eat it the next day. That's no joke. I love me some pasta. Ugh. I know this conversation, this discussion, this time around might get you a little hungry. But then again, that's the point, I guess. So, okay, that's two. My third favorite food would be ramen. I love ramen, especially spicy ramen. Um, since I first tried the, um, what's it called? The, um, Nongshim Shin Ramyun spicy noodles. I tried it the first time I tried it. I tried it here on my food follies, which I know I haven't made a food follies in a while, but don't worry, it'll change soon. But, um, I tried it first there and I was skeptical at first. I was like, mm, cause I, I was like, I don't know. I mean, it might not have the same restaurant quality as it does when I go to food gallery 32. It might not be the same, but guess what? I'm sorry to say it, excuse me, but Shin Ramyun is better than Food Gallery 32. This ramen, and it, it made me so happy because I could get my spicy ramen fix at home instead of having to go all the way to Manhattan to Koreatown just to get my ramen fix or any other place for that matter. So I was happy finding that and now I make it religiously. I get all, I get those in abundance to eat when, you know, I don't either feel like going out, I don't feel like cooking nothing. I have that, just pop it in the microwave, put water, pop it in the microwave and you're good to go. Got my chopsticks, good, it's so good. Um, I also tried the, <laughs> unsuccessfully tried the two time spicy noodle challenge. It didn't end well, <laughs> to tell you right now. Look on my Food Follies um, playlist, just check those out if you'd like. Because anything food related goes there. So check my Food Follies playlist if you'd like to see all those videos. But moving along. So we got pizza, first favorite food. Pasta, second favorite food. Ramen, third favorite food. Let's see. What else do I love? Oh, Philly cheesesteak. Oh, speaking of, I went downtown for a little while today. And I went to Tony Luke's, the place, uh, again, Food Follies, check the playlist so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. I went to Tony Luke's, that's my place, and I got me my regular standard cheese steak with onions, American cheese, and buffalo sauce. 
my favorite. Every time I eat that cheesesteak, it does stuff to my it does stuff to my soul. It just makes me so happy. It's so tingly and yummy. Oh my god. I love me a good Philly cheesesteak. And honestly, one thing that I really would like to do is actually travel to Philly and have an authentic Philadelphia cheesesteak from Philadelphia. Because I, I would just love to do that one day. One day when I have the opportunity to travel, I will do that. And I will record it too. Because that's something that I've always wanted to try. So I'm hoping I can make that a reality sooner or later. But I love me a good cheesesteak. Mm, yes. So let's see what else. Oh, shrimp. I know a lot of people are allergic to shrimp and my mother included because she can't have shellfish. She can't eat shrimp. She can't eat lobster. She can't eat crab, any shellfish she can't eat. So I kind of feel bad eating shrimp in front of her sometimes. But sometimes I just can't resist. I love shrimp. I love shrimp scampi. I love shrimp on a kebab. I love, um, what you call it, fried shrimp. The only shrimp I really wouldn't eat is just, you know, how they serve like shrimp cocktail, the cold shrimp with the cocktail sauce. So okay, that, no. But uh, any other type of shrimp I love. Garlic butter shrimp. Oh. Mm, I love me some shrimp. Let's see. Another food that I really love. I do really love sandwiches. Now, I... I'm a sandwich person. I love sandwiches, whether it be homemade sandwiches or you get sandwiches from the bodega, but I find myself buying more bodega sandwiches because I don't know what it is. It's just, I've been, ugh. since I was old enough to take myself to school, that's how long I've been eating sandwiches. Just putting it out there, you know, like from the, from the bodega, of course. I mean, I would make my own sandwiches at home. I would experiment with different, um, you know, combinations, sauces mustards and things like that you see what will come out good but i've always been a sandwich person i love sandwiches uh, it's something about sandwiches that i really really love my favorite sandwich is on a roll if you were talking about from the bodega on a roll oven roasted turkey or honey glazed turkey with mayonnaise american cheese lettuce and salt pepper vinegar no tomatoes i don't like tomatoes on my sandwich so yeah that's my favorite sandwich if not turkey, then salami. That's my second favorite um, deli meat. But yeah, those are my favorites. So those are just about, those are what, my top five? How many did I list? Pizza, pasta, cheesesteaks, ramen, shrimp, and say, yeah, those are, my, those are about my top six favorite foods that I could eat on the daily, on the regular, you know? But let me know some of your favorite foods. Like I said, everybody has a favorite food. What is that one food? You can list more than one down in the comments. I'm gonna leave a comment down below, pin it, so y'all can answer. What is your all-time favorite food? The food that you just have to have, that you can eat all the time. Just let me know down in the comments below. So this was another Moonlight Butterfly Miku Discusses. I hope you enjoy this new segment on my channel. And if you enjoy this and the other content, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. It is greatly appreciated. I love making these videos for you guys. Don't forget to chime in down in the comments. I'm going to be looking. <laughs> so guys, again, take care. Thanks for watching. And as always, this is Moonlight Butterfly Miku saying bye, guys.